Welcome to the Clover Kitchen printer tutorial. This tutorial will only cover instructions for the Star Micronics SP742ML, which is an Ethernet connected impact printer and is the only Clover compatible standalone kitchen printer. We'll cover setting up a single kitchen printer and validating a connection to the Clover station for both merchants whose stations use Ethernet or Wi Fi. This tutorial will also cover the configuration for when order tickets are sent to a single order printer. In order to properly install your kitchen printer, you will need access to a power source, access to an internet source, and an ethernet cable to physically connect it to that source. For more detailed diagrams about setting up your internet source, please refer to the additional support material available at help.clover.com. Also be sure your ethernet cable is long enough to go from the kitchen printer to your internet source. If needed, you can use any Cat5 cable. One important note. The Clover station and the kitchen printer must be on the same internet network to communicate properly. This means that if your station is using a Wi-Fi connection, the kitchen printer's ethernet cable must be physically plugged into the wireless router for that network. Begin the installation by inserting the printer power cable into the printer and plug into a power outlet. Then pull the latch at the top right of the printer. The cover will pop open and insert the paper roll so that the paper comes off the roll at the bottom. You'll pull the paper towards the front of the printer, then close the printer cover. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable into a free port on the router, bridge, or other intranet source. Then insert the other end of the Ethernet cable into the back of the kitchen printer. Now you'll flip the power switch on the left side of the printer to the on position. On the front right bottom of the printer, red and yellow lights will slowly blink. When a single green light turns on, this indicates the printer is communicating with the network. Now go to the home screen of the station and tap on the printer setup icon. You should see your kitchen printer listed under the available printers list and a button next to it that says add order printer. Tap add order printer and that printer will move up and become active. Tap the test printer button to run a test print. You have successfully installed your kitchen printer when the test print completes. The Clover receipt printer will default to be both the receipt printer and the order printer, so you now have two order printers. If left this way, you'll have to manually choose which printer to use on every order. To set the kitchen printer as the only order printer, tap the Remove Order Printer button next to the printer image. It will then move into the Available Printers section. Now let's configure when and how tickets will print to the kitchen printer. Go back to the home page and tap on the Setup icon and select Receipts. Tap on Order Receipt Options. Here you can select when the order receipt will print to your default order printer. When printing the customer receipt, when hitting the Pay button, or manually in the Register app. Next, you have the checkbox Group Line Items on Order Receipt, which when selected will reduce paper usage by showing multiple items like this. If unchecked, multiple items will show like this. And below that, you have layout options where you can choose to show the customer information on the order receipt, show alternate inventory names, the large font option, and how much blank space you'd like at the top of the order receipt for clipping or hanging in the kitchen window. That completes our tutorial on installing and setting up your kitchen printer. For additional information on multiple printers and labeling options, please go to help.clover.com.